Okay, Facebook, YouTube. Um, today I'm actually doing a plant haul because um, I had to drop my taxes to be done. Um, and then one of the grocery stores I go to just so happens to be located next to a Lowe's department store. So I decided since I was since I was already out, I might as well go ahead and get a couple plants because yes, we're under a somewhat of a stay at home order, but they do enable you to go out as long as you follow the social distancing protocol, try to stay six to 10 feet away from people, which is what I normally do anyways. Um, if the normal safe zone is at um, arm's length, I typically prefer two arms length. I've always been a person, if I don't know you, kind of stay away. But I don't want to get into all of that. I want to get into this. So, first plant that I got, golden pin, pin cushion, Mam Mamularia celsiana. It's native to Mexico. It's a ball type cactus. Um, you just water when the soil is dry. Most of these costed between $347, $358. The most expensive one was $498, so $5. The entire plant haul was $110. But that was more so the pots more than anything. This is a Espastoa mirabilis. It's from Peru. And it grows up to six feet or more in height. When mature, flowers will come from it. I love cactuses, by the way. That's why I'm glad I live in the state of Florida because I recently moved. I have a second property, so I'm able to put more stuff outside. This is a Oz cactus. Don't know where it's from, no scientific name. I love printing cactuses. That might, hopefully that can be the thumbnail, I don't know. We'll see. Silver arrows. That's also a Mamaria Nasia pensis. It's from Mexico. It forms globular stems with silver spines. It grows in columns up to six feet in height. As all cactuses water when it's dry. I have two of them, so I'm gonna, and I may do it when I finish it. I may do a quick video how it turned out. Then we have, I actually like this one. It's simple, but I like it. It's an Oz Cactus Moon, Gym, Gymno Silicium, Nihonabishi, Frederici, I don't know. Um, don't, doesn't tell where it's from. Actually, like indirect light, or they could be in shade. Then I bought, spent a decent amount of money on the pots. And that's where a lot of the, um, the price actually comes from. This is going to be for, you'll see. I just like the designs. I like earth tones in my house, even though the air is covered. I like earth tone. This little baby here is a alocasia. It's a um, baby elephant ear. I like it because if you look close, you can see it has a lot of offshoots coming. This was $7.98. Pride and joy. I've been wanting one of these for so, so long. Most people say that they were more so popular in the 70s. It's a pretty big, you see I gotta lift, lift it so you can actually see it. It's a uh, cast iron plant, so um, it's huge. It's gonna grow in that brown thing I got. So, I'm a happy man. I've been wanting one for a long time. I don't know what it, I think my grandma used to have one. And she did pass in 2013 at the age of 92. So you know how it is, especially me being a plant person. And I lived with my grandma 
in her later years of her life. So anything that kind of brings back that memory, it does, um, you know, it excites me. But something I almost forgot, because I almost missed it. Look at, see this? This plant came with, um, I don't know what it is, but it came with a hitchhiker, so. I gotta see if I could somehow separate it or when I repot it, I'm gonna try to give it some kind of space. All right, people, um, just real quick, I wanna end this video, but I just wanna say very quickly, um, stay encouraged. I know the nation is going through what it's going through with the whole pandemic, the quarantine, the job loss. I just wanna encourage people to stay positive and I know it's hard to because there is a lot of death but there is also a lot of life and success stories. Um, this is an opportunity for people to return their hearts and minds back to God. I did say which one because I'm open-minded. I let people decide for themselves. But it's just time to stop being a selfish society where we only think about ourselves, our money, our success, what we have, what we do this and this, this and this. This is a time to get back to families, start caring about the world around you, care more for yourself. So sometimes when bad situations come in life, they can either be bad and you can take it only for that or you can use it as an opportunity to better yourself. So hopefully you take that option. That's what I'm gonna do. Then say I'm perfect because I'm not, believe me. Trust me, I'm not. But I'm, you know, my heart is in a, I've never been a selfish person, but my heart is more in a place to give. Like when I go down the street, and it's not bragging, but when I, you know, it's been a couple of times where I've seen people where I know for a fact that they, they could use bottled water or if I have an extra fruit punch, I've given one of those away. It's a time to just let your heart shine. Go back to um, old school humanity before technology and all this. But this is not about that. I don't want to turn this into no preaching session I was just throwing those words out there because we're all going through something with with, with with what's happening right now in the world not just see normally it's just overseas but for once it finally is hitting America as well so um be encouraged people um keep love at the forefront of your heart and my famous quote, if you're not dead, you're still alive. So respect the quarantine, but still you have to live. So smile, laugh, paint a picture. If your area permits you to take a walk, go take a walk. But I'm getting off of here. I'm not trying to ramble. So hopefully you all enjoyed this little um, Lowell's plant haul. Earth boy, the sun and rain, nature lover extraordinaire. Be blessed. Know that I love you, and I'm going to say God Almighty does as well. And that's going to be it. So, till next time, people, enjoy your life and get through what we have to all go through. All right, next time.